Oh, I'm getting it all on video. <laughs> And I wasn't kidding. <laughs> Language, YouTube, kids watch. <laughs> well, I can put the little bleep in there. Saskatchewan doing some combining on a 1929 Holt pull type combine getting pulled by a Caterpillar 30 crawler so uh, yeah we're just gonna have some fun document it show you guys what it looked like to be a farmer in uh, 1929 
got a pretty big cut here. <laughs> Some guy up there in the middle of my grandfather, Cameron. Next to him is Lyle Garrett. He's the owner of this combine. you guys can hear me I'm gonna walk and talk to you at the same time but um, what's interesting about pulp and caterpillar and combines or what I think is interesting whether the John Deere guys find it interesting or not is that uh, when caterpillar merged in 1925 um, pulp and CL best caterpillar got the pulp combine line up line up with it as well and uh, later on Caterpillar actually sold the combine line to John Deere so um, all you John Deere guys out there with John Deere combines you got these guys to thank just saying Caterpillar wasn't for us selling them you guys wouldn't be driving them but uh, anyway again this is uh, a 1929 Holt combine. It's being pulled by a 7U Caterpillar D4 right now. We were pulling it with a Caterpillar 30 tractor. Um, Lyle just wants to uh, give them both an exercise here this year. So this crop of wheat, when they were uh, harvesting, was yielding about 60 bushel an acre. So uh, this old combine's getting a good workout today. But uh, thanks for tuning in and checking out this old combine. Um, this is what it looked like in 1929. These guys had a heck of a heck of a day out here in the field getting the crop off back then. Brings a whole new appreciation for uh, for what they used to do to get the grain off. Overcast day here in Saskatchewan. We got some smoke coming in from the fires down in Montana. But it uh, makes for a good day for filming. There's no sun shadows to, to contend with. So I'm going to finish off this pass and uh, probably wait until we unload the hopper and get the video going again then.